In April, AppTerra delivered a fresh video update to the AppTerra community. This month's report revisits a recent trip to France, outlines an upcoming journey to the United Arab Emirates, and provides insights into the progress of AppTerra's inaugural production intent solar electric vehicles, EVs. But before we dive into that, if you're enjoying this briefing, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel and turn on the bell notification to be notified of any recent video. Thank you. Aptera Motors, a seasoned solar EV startup, consistently garners attention for two main reasons. Firstly, it stands as the sole viable contender actively pursuing large-scale solar EV production, potentially revolutionizing electric mobility with heightened sustainability. Secondly, Aptera's commitment to transparency sets it apart, with monthly video updates led by co-founders and co-CEOs Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony. The February update offered a glimpse of the forthcoming solar EV app and the battery packs to be produced by partner CTNS in South Korea. This was followed by a separate post detailing the build process of production intent solar EVs, with the production body facilitating finalization of crucial aspects like cable routing and component placement. Anthony also recaps AppTerra's recent presence at GEC World 2024 in Paris, showcasing the carbon body at the event, while Entity General Manager Marco Selli elaborates on the manufacturing process during the conference. Now, onto the production updates. Anthony announces the construction of PI2, AppTerra's inaugural solar EV, equipped with a production intent drivetrain frame, safety structure, and suspension. As we reflect on AppTerra's efforts to keep the public informed, address production delays, and alleviate customer concerns regarding their eagerly anticipated AppTerra ownership, we delve into the question. What's happening with AppTerra amidst delays in solar EV production? Let's explore possible answers. While many individuals aligned with conservative political ideologies believe that reliance on internal combustion engines will endure indefinitely, this viewpoint is increasingly difficult to sustain. The arguments supporting this stance must evolve annually as they are continually disproven. Some opponents of electric vehicles, EVs, have resorted to dishonesty or adhering to outdated information. However, for economies heavily dependent on oil, maintaining such deception is unsustainable. Consequently, countries in Southwest Asia are reconsidering their reliance on oil. Although oil will remain crucial for global transportation and non-transportation applications like plastics for many years, a significant decline in demand is anticipated due to advancements in EV technology. Consequently, nations such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates UAE, are investing more of their oil revenue into alternative industries. One notable example is the acquisition of Lucid Motors, but numerous other investments in alternative technologies are also being made. The recent announcement by AppTerra regarding the creation of special vehicle versions for investors in the UAE garnered attention. Rather than taking a definitive stance on whether this move will benefit or harm AppTerra, it's worth exploring various potential scenarios behind the scenes. AppTerra has been actively seeking funding for production for several years. However, the lack of transparency regarding the funding requirements and the amount of money collected from prospective customers has led many to doubt the company's long-term viability. The situation is further complicated by AppTerra's reluctance to provide clear answers, which undermines confidence in the company. What is evident from statements since 2020 is that AppTerra has been courting large institutional investors to finance production. The optimistic scenario is that the company has finally secured the investors it needs. However, to secure this investment and commence production, the investors may have stipulated the creation of special UAE cars as part of their terms. While this arrangement could bring substantial benefits, it also poses risks. Entrusting control of the company to a country with a poor human rights record could lead to negative publicity and impact the company's culture and treatment of employees if not managed carefully. Alternatively, this move could be aimed at impressing serious investors, which could potentially lead to further funding for production. However, there are risks associated with committing to production in the UAE and then failing to secure the necessary funds, potentially alienating stakeholders permanently if production fails to materialize.
It's conceivable that Aptera lacks significant investors willing to finance production, and that this move to create special UA vehicles is a last-ditch effort to attract investors. While a higher amount needed for these vehicles may seem significant, it's not substantial compared to previous figures like $50 million. If Aptera continues to run accelerator programs while assuring people that production funds are secure, it could damage its reputation. Given the limited information available, speculation about the company's future ranges from extreme optimism to outright hostility. Rather than taking an overly optimistic or pessimistic stance, it's preferable to urge Aptera to increase transparency and provide updates on the production situation. Despite hearing for years that a special investor would enable production, updates on funding sources like accelerator programs and government grants have been scarce. Improved transparency would reassure stakeholders and foster confidence in Aptera's future. My greatest concern for Aptera is that it will once again face a critical moment where action must be taken and failure to do so could lead to significant consequences. The outcome depends on the sentiments of various stakeholders, including pre-order customers, investors, and the EV community. While some individuals have soured on the company, it's unclear how many more would need to do so for a tipping point to be reached. Personally, I am eager to drive an Aptera and hope the company will provide updates or announcements soon to maintain its customer and fan base. As enthusiasts of Aptera, we remain hopeful for its success and encourage transparency to ensure its continued vibrancy. In conclusion, the analysis sheds light on the complexities surrounding Aptera's journey towards scaled solar EV production. While the company's transparency efforts are commendable, questions linger regarding its financial backing and production timeline. The decision to offer special UAE vehicles raises eyebrows, signaling potential shifts in strategy or desperation for funding. Despite the uncertainties, stakeholders yearn for clarity and transparency from Aptera. Clear communication regarding funding sources, production progress, and future plans is crucial for maintaining trust and confidence among pre-order customers, investors, and the broader EV community. As Aptera navigates these challenges, it must strike a delicate balance between optimism and realism. While enthusiasts eagerly await the opportunity to drive an Aptera, the company's long-term success hinges on its ability to address concerns, maintain transparency, and deliver on its promises. Ultimately, the fate of Aptera rests not only on technological innovation, but also on effective communication and strategic decision-making. With transparency, diligence, and a commitment to its vision, Aptera has the potential to revolutionize electric mobility and pave the way for a sustainable future. And now let's hear from you in the comments section. If you enjoyed today's content, then give us a like, subscribe, and ensure the bell notification is on to be notified of our recent content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.